Hola Cancers, this is Tara by Tess with your January bonus reading for January 2019. You guys had the most views so far. I think it's well over 11,000, so um, could even be up to 13,000 by now. I don't remember. Um, so I'm doing a short Lenormand spread for you first. Um, overall, on the bottom of the deck, you have Clover, which is a theme for you. And the Clover is all about luck, chances. It could be reconciliation, okay? Um, but this is more, um, the whole reading in general, just the vibe I'm getting off of it, is about lightening up. And I don't mean that in a negative way. It's like really for your benefit. And yeah, it's like luck's coming. Lightening up um, will benefit you in some way. You have cross, key, child, and tower. Um, so I do feel like there is a chance. It could be a second chance that's coming around. Okay. But with cross and tower, I feel like there's some kind of dogmatic principle you have or a principled way about yourself. Very, uh, straightforward thinking, um, could be a little narrow minded, but, um, I hate to say narrow minded and open minded because technically everybody's narrow minded. <laughs> they believe what they believe and whatnot. Okay. It could be religious because of the cross. Um, but with Tower here, I'm seeing you kind of take pride. Okay. I'm a Cancer, so I'm not saying this in a negative way. I think it's a good thing, but you know, um, I'm going to tell you what the cards say, not what I say. So I'm seeing somebody takes pride in their principles, like how principled they are, or um, even a hardship. I feel like you guys are going through a really hard time. Um, and it could be because of this strict principle, okay? Whatever it is you're living your life by, it may be causing you some loneliness and suffering. Because um, with the tower and the cross, this is just, it's, ugh, it's so much suffering, okay? And it's also lots of loneliness. And this card here is saying, you're saying no a whole lot. Like, no, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. And the card right next to it is the key. And that's a yes card. So it's like almost like it's compelling you to say yes. And I'm getting this song. All you gotta do is say yes. Don't deny what you feel. Let me undress you, babe. <laughs> I don't know why that song's coming up, but okay. Um, so there's like a sneaky way. This is trying to say, say yes. So when this opportunity comes this chance you're supposed to say yes okay but i'm not saying to be brash about it but you've just cut yourself off or you've been going through so much heartache um troubles suffering in general i'm not saying you're the cause of your own suffering it could be something completely different but either way there's suffering going on and it's like you've been feeling like you've been getting a no said to you okay and this is saying to say no to a principle or a way of approach that you've been taking to life. Okay. Now there's a few people, I don't really see this for cancers. I don't know. Maybe you have like a very detached sign in your chart somewhere. It could be that you've been shut off to other people's plights because of some kind of principle. I'm not saying that's what it is. Okay. Um, you could also feel like you've been shut off. Um, your plight has been you know, cut off and nobody's heard it. Okay. Um, but with the clover here in the cross, this tells me you have a break in your rough patch. All this suffering you've been going through, you're getting relief. And it's, it's advice. It's saying be more laid back. Okay. So we have rigid and then we say, Hey, be, be laid back a little bit. Okay. Say yes to some things. Um, it's also saying be lenient in your principles. And have a playful approach. And I remember doing a sex reading for you guys. Like, what do they like about you sexually? And they liked that you were very childlike. So we do have child here. So that may be something about it. Uh, it may not be naivety. It may be more playful. Okay. But it is saying to have a playful approach with the cross and the clover. Clover is very lighthearted. A cross is like the exact opposite. <laughs> um, now with key here next to the cross... You willingly take on this burden, like this principle, okay? And here it says you're open to other suffering. 
So that's why I kind of feel like you're more open to other people's suffering. You may take on other people's suffering, but you still have your own. Okay. Um, but even though you take on other people's suffering, there is still some kind of a boundary, more like a wall that is keeping you from seeing some people's plights. I'm not sure what it is. And I know that's probably like <laughs> a terrible thing for a cancer to hear. Cause you're like, Oh, I'm skipping over people. I'm not seeing something, you know, I can't take care of somebody. I'm not being nurturing towards somebody. Um, and it's just like something you've, you happen to maybe overlook because you're very rigid in a principle. Okay. Um, cause we have, uh, we have dogmatic thinking and over open-minded thinking right next to each other. Okay. Um, but also these say relief from pain. So again, we have relief from a rough patch, relief from pain. I think with all this saying to open up, be a little lighthearted, um, you're going to be delivered from this hardship you've been going through. And again, the solution is for you to be a little bit more lenient and laid back and playful, maybe taking on less responsibilities. Um, it may be saying to kind of, you may have to kind of tell people like, look, I'm going to have to take care of myself. And it looks like shutting off from other people's plights. When really it's taking care of yourself because you have your own plights. Okay. Um, so there's like a lot of different dynamics working in here. I can see it from so many different angles. Um, now the crux of your reading is key and child. And it says have an understanding approach like you would for a child. Um, also says be open to new experiences and come as a child. Now with the cross and key, Again, I was feeling like you were like you were carrying your cross, right? <laughs> and here it's saying, like, come to me as a child. So there's two different biblical kind of th things going on here. It's almost like you know, Jesus himself is coming to you and saying, look, you carried your cross, okay? <laughs> or you've been carrying it. And it's like saying, now come to me as a child. You know what I mean? Like, come to me as a child. I mean... Children don't have that, you know, so um, that's what I get here. I'm also seeing, yes, this does, this new approach does leave you a little bit more vulnerable. Okay. Um, it's, a little, it's a little vulnerable to be open and um, maybe it can make you look naive or you might feel naive. Okay. Um, or you start to understand something that you were once naive of. Okay. Maybe once you open up to something. Uh, you can see something that you were naive about. And so just because you were so rigid in this principle, okay? This also says the solution to the problem is to keep an open mind. And I'm not saying cancers are closed minded. I don't really feel that way. You could have just been caught up in your own suffering or your own beliefs. And there was just so much pain. You couldn't really see past it. Okay. Because when cancers, we feel things, you know, we, <laughs> we, we feel things so it's different i'm also seeing to be childlike be open to being childlike and the first step is to open up and i'm also seeing be cute so be playful be cute um cancers are very childlike so i don't think it's going to be very difficult but you are going to get a, a break and this break may help you to open up or opening up may help you get this break okay um I don't know if the chance is coming first or if all of this um, precedes the chance. Okay. Um, but I'm really getting here with key and clover. You have to say yes to an opportunity. And with child and clover, I'm seeing, oh, look, here comes an opportunity. Um, I'm seeing to be curious. If you're curious, you may start seeing more opportunities out there. Like, so if you're cut off from uh, some things like people's plights or people's stories, somehow or another, this is saying that, um, you know, just being curious about people could help you figure some things out, right? Um, I'm seeing you're, you're, you're going to be doing things in a new childlike hearted way. I'm also seeing your luck is growing. You're opening yourself up to luck. 
you're you're going to be as untroubled as a child, which I mean, don't we all wish we could be like, man, I wish I'd go back to a child childhood whenever I didn't have any responsibilities. That's what's going on here. So it's like, treat yourself like a child. Stop taking on so many responsibilities. Okay. But this opportunity that's coming in that you're supposed to say yes to, you are really supposed to say yes, just so you know, um, it's coming through loud and clear. Um, it still has to be handled delicately. I'm not sure what that means. Okay. But it does. It has to be handled in a very careful way, like you would handle a baby, right? Okay. So, yes, you still have to think about the risks of opening up and being more vulnerable. Um, Because we as cancers, we have our shells, right? But this particular spread is for a cancer or cancers who have, they have their shell, they have their sandcastle, they have a brick wall around their sandcastle, they have barbed wire around their sandcastle in this brick wall, um, the cement wall, whatever it is, like they got it all up. And it's saying, how about just the sandcastle and the shell, maybe? <laughs> okay, so still have some boundaries, because you know, you don't want people to like, just take advantage of you. That could have been something that happened before. And that's why all that happened. Um, and so maybe that's why you've been so rigid, and had so many walls and principles and whatnot. Um, but it's saying, can yeah, take some of that down a little bit, you know, <laughs> um, and enjoy your life with a little less responsibility. And again, this is telling me the solution is very easy. It's just like, take things as a child. Again, I'm saying, take the chance. Could be a second chance. And it's a, it's a good idea to take this chance. You should take it. Um, but with Tower and Clover here, I'm seeing you're really thinking about saying no. Okay. But the yes came first, just so we just so we can be clear on that. Um, this also says let go of your past experiences. So again, I think it is something that happened that made you go through a lot of suffering. Okay. And it also cut you off from other people or somehow or another you isolated yourself because of this pain. And, but it's kind of made you a little inexperienced. You couldn't experience things like you would have if you had not cut yourself off or been cut off because of this. So you are a little naive or inexperienced. I also feel like you're rather young. Okay. This, I mean, young is, you know, relative. Okay. If you feel young, you're young. And it says, yeah, it's like you've set up these principles from a young age as well. But you're still young, so you still got time to take these principles down that maybe are just too strict. Because um, it is, it, it's cutting you off from support from others, from emotions uh, from others. But yes, I'm also saying, remember to have some boundaries, that's fine. But whatever, something's about to start here this chance that comes through that you're going to take and handle very delicately. I get, I get the, uh, it's the start of something beautiful. That's what I get. Okay. All right. Now let's see what's coming through. Um, uh, I don't remember what this deck is. I mean, what the spread is called, but, um, I'll just lay it out uh, as we go. Okay. So the first one is, what is the current situation for Cancers? What's the current situation for Cancers? Okay, you have the Ace of Wands with the Four of Wands. This Ace of Wands has been coming out a lot. Okay, so all together that's Five of Wands, which tells me, yes, there's been some struggle. Um, trying to get attention. You've really been wanting a commitment and passion, you want a passionate commitment. I mean, and like <laughs> you want the sex too, but you want like a transformative, passionate connection that's stable and you still get the the sex, you know, pretty much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know why I said it that way. <laughs> oh yeah. I was just getting like, uh-huh. <laughs> ah, three of wands, partnerships, alliances. I'm telling you, that's what you want. Um, some of you may have felt like an ace of wands was taken out from under you in the past, but currently this is what you're wanting. Now you may have it, you may be on the precipice of this. Okay. 
Um, but also three of wands is you, your ships are about to come in. You're waiting. They're coming. It's like, here's three. There's one. Now you have four. Okay. It's coming. Whatever you're looking for, this opportunity, this alliance. I think that's what you're supposed to be saying yes to. Okay. So that's a good current situation. Now let's see what the issue, obstacle, or fate is. What's the issue, obstacle, or fate for Cancers for January 2019? Okay, over here on the floor, we have the Wheel of Fortune. That looks like um, fate, because it's a fate card. So it your fate is literally fate. Okay, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. I don't know if I want to clarify it because it's so good. But basically, you're having a change in luck, a change in fortune. Didn't we just talk about that? Come on. Now, even though I do multiple spreads, they can be very different spreads. Most of the time, they bleed into each other. Okay. But I had one person say, I don't know if I like all these different spreads. It's confusing. But sometimes they're very different groups of people that get a different spread each time. So why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Okay. The death card. Wow. What a transformation. <laughs> okay. I do feel like a relationship had to end or a connection had to end. Um, there may have, uh, there may have to be a truce of some sort. Cause I saw the two of cups reverse when I was shuffling. Uh, could definitely be dealing with a Scorpio here uh, as an issue, obstacle or fate. Cause we have Scorpio and then this is pointing to the Phoenix or Eagle or whatever it is, which is the Scorpio in this particular card. You could also be dealing with an Aquarius, Taurus, or Leo, any other sign for that matter. But we have a lot of wands energy, so fire signs a good good bet. All right. I mean, I really just see you're going through a huge transformation. It's about to that's your issue, obstacle, or fate. I feel like it's your fate. And that could also be an obstacle if you've been so rigid and closed off. So Ooh. All right, now the next one is what are the steps that will help you with your issue, obstacle, or fate? What are the steps for cancer to help them with their fate? I'm going with fate. Because <laughs> it seems like it's a good obstacle or issue, so we'll just say fate. Uh, I'm getting somebody bending a knee. Um, doesn't have to be like a marriage proposal, even though we did have the four of wands. This is more like, um, tale as old as time, you know, um, let's see. I don't remember the, I mean, I know the lyric I'm thinking of, I just can't think of how it goes. Oh, damn. Oh, it's something like, then somebody bends unexpectedly something like that i can't remember i'm sorry guys but i get like somebody's bending like there's a compromise of some sort somebody isn't so rigid like they break right okay so um <laughs> we're gonna try again <laughs> okay what are the steps that will help cancers with their fate Wow. Okay. Nine of cups reverse. Take care of yourself. Ooh, two nines and nine of swords in reverse. Now here, this person is fighting the beast. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking at it. I do feel like you're supposed to take care of yourself but not to be self-absorbed. Okay. This nine of swords is, I feel like you're supposed to stop worrying. Okay. But because this particular card is different. Oh, that's what that is. Okay. So it's not saying not to slay your demons, not to slay the dragons. It's saying that maybe not everything is a demon or a dragon that you have to slay. Okay. Oh, wrong deck. Let's clarify. So you may just have to change your perspective. Six of swords, move on. Um, I can see that. It's like, stop 
going over this. Take care of yourself. Get a little bit of obsessive compulsive. So it could be like a circling thought. Let's see what else is here. And I also feel like this is a little bit like the key because he's having to go through something that's open. Like an open door, like the key um, card suggests a lot of the time. You have to be open to something and that'll help you move through a certain stage in your life. Especially this huge transformation you're going through or about to go through. Yeah. I mean, you are going to be like a whole new person. This is crazy. Okay. Uh, another six. So we have two nines with two sixes. Six of wands, victory and success. Yep. It's like, don't worry, you're not going to be in this pain and suffering anymore. You're not going to be so caught up in that, which is kind of like the last reading. You're going to move on. You're going to move through some kind of a door. There's a big transformation coming on and it's going to be so successful. Um, you may even shout it from the rooftops. You're going to be just amazing. Okay. So just keep that mindset. I think you have to have like some faith to believe is what I'm seeing. All right. What's something that, uh, about you. Okay. That will help you with these steps that helps you with the faith. What's something that helps cancer with their issue, obstacle, or faith, or with the steps that help them with their issue, obstacle, or faith. I've never seen the Six of Swords as opening up, but because all that light's coming in, that's what I feel like. There's a lot of, actually, the light from this picture looks like it's shining in this picture. Huh. Okay, so what's something about cancers that will help them with those steps? It's some, this will be something innate in you. Something you're born with, something you developed that will help you to do all this. Because I know sometimes people say, i got to do that. How the hell am I going to do that? <laughs> well, this is going to tell you what you have that will let you do that. It's only two. Okay. I get nervous whenever they turn, when more than one comes out and they're face down. Because I don't usually pull those, so death card again eight of pentacles so <laughs> you have a tenacity for not moving on from things let's just that's pretty much what it is you put in so much effort um you, i mean we talk about those crabby claws like just clinging on right you put in a lot of effort you're very tenacious and you do not let go easily so that is how you can do this you know like look yeah i gotta move on that's tough right but this is not your obstacle this is what helps you and so I'm, I'm seeing if you have to be rigid about something and very tenacious it's going to be you moving on like that is your goal and you are going to stick with it until the end of time just like you stick with everything else till the end of time okay <laughs> um scorpio came out twice so you may be dealing with one um, can we dealing with a cute Jewish boy? <laughs> okay, let's see what's going on. Um, why is death reversed with the eight of pentacles? Like, it's almost like your job. Nine of cups reversed again. The fact that you can take care of yourself. I like that. Okay. Yeah. And also knowing the fact that you aren't very fulfilled. You aren't very happy, and that's something that should help motivate you, okay? All right, the next one um, is something else that might pop up, like a challenge, um, besides your issue, obstacle, or fate. And then um, challenge is like a play on words. It could also be something that the cards are challenging you to do. So let's see. Oh, wow, that was quick. Oh, we got two. Oh, and I need another one because we got two of pentacles. Of course. Need one more card for other challenges for cancers for the month of January 2019. Yeah. 
three of swords and this is the good kind okay and this is ten of swords um as you can see he's like he's dropped the fucking sword. not the swords ten of wands he's dropped the fucking wands okay um you have a choice to make cancers and that might be coming up for you or it may be a challenge for you to make the choice <sighs> Let me look at this a little more closely because I haven't seen this card in a reading yet. Okay, so here are the people. Come on, get a little bit more. Come on, stop focusing on the wrong thing. Okay, I had to look closely. These people are facing the juggler, okay? I wasn't too sure. And um, this means the people have come off the boat. What you are waiting for is there, okay? Technically, it's like almost like Six of Swords. You've gotten off the boat whatever you're waiting for has come okay and then you have to make a decision so whatever chance you've been waiting on it is here or it will be here and you have the choice to take your wands back up and carry that burden like you've been doing okay that could be the rigidity the rigidity <laughs> the principles um grief whatever it is or you can heal with these three of swords that have been pulled out this is like the regular three of swords but in reverse you can forgive apologize heal reconcile or you can take it back up again actually in, in both of these i feel like you're going to take back up whatever you've been doing but in a good way um but here whatever's falling apart you're not just going to look at it anymore you're actually going to do something about it and i feel like you're going to take back the wands and carry them the way you know you've been doing now as far as rigidity you're gonna let it go but you do have a choice do you want to pick up the rigidity or do you want to pick up um the fallen pieces and kind of heal them that's what i'm seeing let's clarify that's it's a, it's a challenge for you i don't really see it as another thing that pops up it's just something that the cards are challenging you to do Okay, we have temperance reverse could be dealing with the sagittarius finally another sign comes out um, but it is reversed so um something else that may come up is it may be very difficult to make this work you may grow a little impatient um waiting for whatever this chance is or somebody may be impatient and you're having to kind of deal with their impatience But if you want this to work, you're going to have to put in the effort to make it work. Because there's some good outcomes here. There's just, there's somebody you have a hard time working things out with. Let's just say that. It could be yourself, but I think it's somebody else. It's very difficult to probably get along with this person. Is there anything else? This could also be, I forgot to say this could also be advice. <laughs> Uh, so let's get the advice portion real quick on here. What's the advice for cancers? Two of wands. We have impatience and hesitating. I think you, you're going to need a lot of patience before you move forward on something. Let's get one more. Yep. Yeah, this is all. Yeah, you're gonna need a lot of patience um, for whatever this is. Okay. I feel like it's a person. <laughs> all right, let's go into your outcome. Oh, potential outcome. Should you follow the steps? The advice. Okay. What's the potential outcome for cancers? Should they follow the steps and the advice? What's the potential outcome for cancers? One card. The five of wands. Okay. Let me clarify real quick. And the emperor. Let me look up the five of wands in this. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure it means the same thing. But I just want to make sure, because it is a very different kind of deck. It's a very different energy than the original. Let me just look real quick, because 
I don't. That's so weird. I just happened to look and it says the Emperor. Wow, okay, that's weird. Emperor, Death, and the Fours. We have Four of Wands, Four, Emperor, Death twice, Four of Swords. Hmm, I wonder why that just showed up. It talks about sacrificial lamb, though. Okay, but let me get to see what Five of Wands is. Could have sworn there was a spot. I haven't really looked through this book. Okay, there's the sixes. So then you go back to the fives. Okay, five of cups, five of wands, plan B. Oh, so I feel like you should be in control and have a plan B. I've never seen five of wands as plan B. Normally with five of wands, people are all working together. Sometimes they're fighting, but here they're not doing anything. It's like the passion's lost. So it's like you need a plan B. Okay, let me, let me see what else this says. Yeah, if it's normally disorganized. Uh, okay, I don't need to look at this anymore. I mean, I'm going to look at it later, but normally the five of wands is disorganized, but this is the moment after. This makes so much more sense. I have to think of it as the moment after. Okay, I just need to change the way I'm thinking about this. So the moment after, all of a sudden, it's all done. Everything's organized. Everybody's got their spots. They know what to do. And it's the emperor comes in and starts controlling everything. So you, you get organization. You get control into your life. But, but it's by letting go. There may be an Aries that comes into your life or an authority figure could even be a boss because we do have the five of wands here um, as a work situation. But somebody's coming together and whatever strife you've been going through, if you've been trying to get somebody's attention, I think whatever it is, it finally gets resolved. And there's so much stability and organization that comes through here. Let me get one more card. Three of cups could be with coworkers. Um, could also be about a reunion. It's like everything's organized now. There's no more scandal. Um, it just all like falls into place. Like every, every rod has its spot. There's a sense of accomplishment. I don't really know if you're the one doing this though. I feel like there's another party. But either way, there's a celebration. There's a celebration because everything is starting to fall into place. I'm getting that strongly here. It just, it's going to take some patience and prayer, <laughs> prayer and patience. Uh, yeah, that's what I have. Okay. All right. Next. Oh, wait, I'm going to look at the bottom of the decks. Forgot about that. See if there's any small tidbits to get for you from the bottom of the decks. Four of swords again. And four of swords already came out, so I'm really going to look at that one. And five of wands. Four of swords and five of wands came out already. So those are very important. Obstacles, challenges. I feel like somebody helps you get over these things. Remember, at the after tarot gives you the moment after. It's like everything falls into place. Like maybe a stone falls in right there and you can just walk straight over. Um, and with the four of swords here, I'm really getting a feeling of well, prayer, but somebody helping you out. It's like you come to somebody and they help you out. And it just, I'm getting more order, order out of chaos. Okay. It's a little bit different reading than that first one that we had, which I like. All right, let's use my deck and see what comes out for you. What messages are there? For cancers for January 2019. What do cancers need to know for January 2019? What message will help cancers for January 2019? Put this out of the way a little bit. Okay. Okay. 
what message is there for Cancers? The secret's out. You're celibate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's a secret. Okay. Um, we have nine, which is hermit, Virgo. Well, hermit and celibate, those kind of go together. Also, seven is cancer. So, the see, yeah, you they may just be like, uh-huh, secret's out. You're celibate. Everybody knows. <laughs> that's not really a secret, kind of, but, you know, still. Okay. <laughs> Four of Swords does tend to be very monkish, so maybe that's something you're holding on to rigidly. I'm not saying for anybody to break their celibacy, but um, that could be for somebody out there. The Ice Queen. <laughs> Take some fucking action, shit. Okay. We have Ideas Preserved, Non-Action, Entitlement. This just says that somebody's not getting any action. Maybe it's saying to take some action. But secrets out. You are celibate. Okay. Oh, damn it. Sorry about that. All right. So um, last message for cancers from this deck. Gossip. So people could be gossiping about how you're celibate. Eh, I mean, taking action may not be as far as taking action on celibacy. It could be taking action on gossip. And we have be open. Big fucking surprise. We've been getting that right. 12 is the hangman could be dealing with Pisces, but like think of the big picture. Maybe you're very open about being celibate for some reason. Okay. All right. Now let's do a sex reading since we got celibate. <laughs> I don't really have a particular spread for this, so we'll see what comes out. Right. All right. What sex message is there <laughs> for cancers for January? 2019. What message is there for cancers for sex? Now, you guys are supposed to be really thirsty in December. You had opportunity to get dick. I don't know if you took it, but you had opportunity. Okay. Um, so let's see. <laughs> what message is there for cancers about sex? Because apparently they're celibate. They need to live vicariously or have some hope. <laughs> okay. I hope we get that dick picture again. That was fun. Not literally, but you know, in the cards. All right. What's the sex message for cancers for January 2019? It's way too many cards, just so you know. And it didn't fully come out. Too many. What's the sex message for cancers? We have the devil. Oh, that's the best sex card, you guys. I mean, if you think about the devil, it's all about passion and sex. So, but in this particular card, it's also sweet. And then, yeah, I'm not going to go into much more of that right now. Okay, hold on. What else is there for cancers? You could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could have Capricorn in your chart. They could have Capricorn in their chart. Um, we have... Queen of Cups. Oh, it's you. You came out in your own reading. Okay. I'm getting a little bit of um, <laughs> um what's the name? I can't think of it now. Jezebel, maybe. Oh man, this is so not a sex card. Scorpio's got this once, and it was so not a sex card. Okay. And then we have the Six of Swords. Okay. Well, we have enough devil in here to make up for the lack of sex card right here. Okay. So let's see what this devil has to say. Okay. Anxiety and extreme sensuality. Um, and I've had this, you know, I've seen these cards a lot. Okay. The meanings don't change because they're written right here and I read them word for word. So, but what I'm getting in the interpretation is you guys have some kind of extreme anxiety when it comes to sex and 
but at the same time, you're also extremely sensual. <laughs> so you, you've, yeah, it's not being double-minded. It's not being able to do what you want. So that sucks. I'm sorry. That may be why you're celibate. Okay. Um, to fight boredom of repeatedness, try new and original ways. Joy can come from suffering. Man, you guys have been suffering. We, we saw that um, in your other readings, but this is about sex. So it's sexual suffering. So you might get some kind of kicks from being celibate or um, there's other kinds of sexual suffering, which I won't really go into. You can just let your imagination run wild. Um, this also says try new and different things that maybe would make you not anxious. Okay. Um, going on to the Queen of Cups, which is you guys. I can't believe that is our card. I don't remember our card looking that way. <laughs> like, she is like all about it, right? She is like having a good time. <laughs> uh, of course, I, it would be our card because we're doing 69, right? And 69 is our our sign okay um let's see here queen of cups um, let's see okay an affectionate lover exchanges sexual favors with a companion recognizing a partner's right to orgasm <laughs> okay <laughs> and that it could be a friend could be a friend with benefits could be somebody you just have a really good connection with um, let me go back and read that again <laughs> Okay, so exchanging sexual favors. I mean, technically it's just sex. I mean, that's really what I see there. Um, okay. Now, I want to look at this six of... No, eight of swords. We have six of swords later. This eight of swords, I can't really remember what that was about. I just know it's not very sexual. So, react to adversity. Self-confidence. Do not give up tiredness. So there may be a self-confidence issue or anxiety or both. Like maybe self-confidence issues give you anxiety about having sex. I don't know if it's bodily related or if it's skill related um, or just something else entirely. Um, so I'm getting here. I kind of want to clarify a little bit, but with different decks, um, you need confidence in order to not be anxious in order to do what all your sensual things that you're very fond of. So I'm just going to say, if you really have this problem, um, you may want to, you may want to drink. <laughs> just, <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. Um, I hate to tell people to like, Hey, if you want to have sex drink, <laughs> but I mean, that, okay. That's, and I'm also seeing being tired. So maybe you'll be a little less tired if you're tipsy. Uh, maybe you want to lose some weight. So you'll feel confident or you won't be tired. Okay. All right. Now we have six of swords. I'm just moving on covering that basis. I'm, I'm done. Okay. Um, the enemy becomes harmless. Are y'all having sex with the enemy? No. Um, we have, I feel like the enemy here is the anxiety, okay, or the self-confidence issues. Surprise towards new situations. So you might end up having sex with somebody you didn't think you'd be having sex with. Maybe this person offers you some kind of a solution to your issue. Let me see if I can shuffle this deck. Maybe one of the same sex cards. Where is that deck? Oh, it's on the bottom. Duh. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm telling you. Okay. What's the solution <laughs> to whatever this dilemma is? I hope that's giving me a good answer. That does not look very fun. Okay. Let's see here. <laughs> The seven of wands. Okay. But I think you're going to end up having sex with somebody that you either didn't think you would, or they're going to, okay, both of these give me the element of surprise. Somebody's going to have to surprise you. And I, 
I don't know if that's going to be good because you have anxiety about this. Or maybe you get surprised by something that actually helps you, but let me, let me look into the seven of wands first. I need to go back to that six of swords because the enemy becomes harmless. Surprise towards new situations. There's a, something you may open up to something new after you start opening up to whatever it is that you're you're anxious about sexually okay seven of wands nope, not that way okay a part of the undertaking is complete surprise daring yeah so there's some kind of aspect of surprise somebody may have to surprise you or you might surprise yourself. What? <laughs> I sure hope you guys know what this means. Because <laughs> it came out twice. The solution to whatever this is a surprise. Maybe, well, let's say just if you're already having sex, maybe something's a little boring because the devil does say try new and different ways. Um, maybe there's an element of surprise um, somehow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You might surprise somebody. I don't know. That is just a weird reading. Bottom of the deck. Again, three of cups. It came out again. This is what this person liked about you in that other reading, what they like about you sexually, right? And it was they liked uh, catching you like as the big metal. <laughs> we did have that furry in that other picture. <laughs> oh my God. So it could be role playing for some of you. But they like that you were very naive and childlike and playful. So let's look at that Three of Cups real quick. Um, naivety, fun, innocent play. So something about that came on. It's what they liked about you, and it's what something that's going to help you out. So good luck, Cancers. God bless. <laughs>